Into the tropics we go with a few things to look at here. We've got Jerry, Karen, and now Tropical Storm Lorenzo all the way over here. When it comes to Jerry, Jerry is not going to bother anybody except maybe some wind and rain for Bermuda, but it looks like it might scoot around Bermuda a little bit. The forecast tracks and models take it up to the north here and then over to the northeast and it just kind of takes off up into the North Atlantic where it dies out. For Lorenzo, it moves away from the African coast potentially becoming a hurricane over the next couple of days, but that also moves up into the central and north Atlantic and eventually dies out. For Karen, it's a little bit trickier with winds now at 40. It's very disorganized. Uh, it's still a tropical storm moving north northwest at 12 miles per hour, expected to move over or near Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands by tomorrow. And then as it moves up to the north on Thursday and Friday up toward Bermuda, but not quite getting there, it looks like it stalls out for a few days before it makes its next move. So the question is, where is its next move? Well, it's hard to tell at this point because computer models are all over the place. There are some models that have it kind of scooting around off to the northeast, but there are models that have it moving over to the west a bit, some even pushing it all the way down toward Cuba and scooting past that through the Florida Straits. So here's a quick look at what happens. It starts to move north over Puerto Rico, over the Virgin Islands, and high pressure builds into the north and blocks it from continuing to move north, which is why some computer models have it forcing its way over toward the west a little bit. So we'll know a lot more by Thursday and Friday of this week as to where Karen is headed. Uh, so for the moment, don't go changing your plans or anything like that. Let's just sit and wait for a few days here and we'll get a much better idea of what's going to happen with Karen.